Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how to create this animated slide design with spinning photo background. Let's go! Before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to Zyro for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneScale channel. Zyro is a website builder that makes it extremely easy for anyone to create amazing websites and launch online stores that sell. I have tried out Zyro myself and I can say it's the easiest and fastest website builder that I've ever seen. I especially like the snapping grid feature which makes sure that all of your website elements look nicely spaced out and aligned. What's awesome is that Zyro is super affordable and with the coupon code OneScale you can get 30% off for all Zyro plans. By the way, if you would like to create an online store, you can do that easily with Zyro and you can manage all of your business in one single place, including selling on Facebook, Instagram and Amazon. Once again, thank you Zyro, click the link in the video description and use coupon code OneSkill to get 30% off of all Zyro plans. And now let's continue with the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so let's start with a fresh blank new slide layout, that's awesome. And now we can activate slide guys so that we can see where is the center of the slide and now let's just insert a beautiful perfect circle. You can hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle. And for the height and width, let's choose 12 centimeters. Alright, and now let's just place this circle inside of the center and middle of the slide. Alright, we can remove the outlines, we don't need outlines. And now let's just go to format shape options and let's add a shadow to this circle. So let's just go to shadow and let's choose this one which is called center. And for the blur, let's choose 100%. All right, and let's actually switch the fill to white color. This way it looks awesome. And now we can quickly copy this circle by holding down the control key. That's right. Now let's just send this copy to back. Let's make it a little bit uh, bigger, just like that. And let's move it to the center of the slide. And now we can hold down the control and shift key and increase the size of this second circle, just like that from the center of the slide. That's awesome. Let's make another copy. Let's send it to back as well. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. So let's make the circle bigger. Let's align it to the center and the middle of the slide. And now let's make sure that this last circle covers the whole slide, just like this. All right, and now we can turn off the slide guides. We don't need them anymore. And now let's go to selection pane and let's give some names to our beautiful circles. Because now, as you can see, they are ovals. So let's give them some proper names. So this, the smallest one, let's call it center. The one in the middle, let's call him middle. And the biggest circle, let's call him outside. All right, so now let's add some photos to our beautiful circles. And let's start with a big circle. Let's select it. Let's go to format shape. Let's go to fill options and let's find picture. And now let's insert a picture that we want. So uh, let's choose, for example, this photo. Link is in the video description and let's click insert. All right. Now we can just use the format painter, double click on it. And now we can easily paste the same photo to the rest of the circles. But as you can see, we have to do some adjustments so that the photo looks correctly in all of the circles. So let's just select the middle circle. And let's just go to crop options. And let's expand the photo so that it has the same size as the biggest circle, just like that. And let's do the same for this uh, smallest circle in the center. All right, everything is looking beautiful and now we can start with the animations. So let's select our center squirrel, squirrel, <laughs> circle. Let's go to animations and let's select spin animation. So we will make this little circle spin just like that. I think we can just increase the speed. So let's reduce the duration to 0 0.8 seconds just like that. And let's just add smooth start and smooth end. And that's awesome. And now we can use the animation painter, double click on the animation painter and we can quickly add the same animation to the rest of the circles. Let's just make sure that they start with previous. And for the middle circle, let's add a delay of 0.2 seconds. And for the outside circle, let's add a delay of 0.4 seconds. That's awesome. 
right, all of the circles are spinning and the middle and the outside circles have a little bit of delay and we get this beautiful spinning effect. That's awesome. And now we can duplicate the first slide and here on the second slide we will insert a new picture to this uh, huge outside circle. So let's choose a new picture. For example, this one. All right. And once again, we can use the animation painter to quickly paste the same picture to the rest of the circles. All right. One thing I would like to do is to adjust the shadow. I think uh, we can reduce the transparency of the shadow to 20% because uh, this, uh, these photos are quite dark. And uh, this way, I think shadow will be much more visible. All right. And as well, we can make all of the photos a little bit darker. So in the brightness uh, scale, the brightness uh, slider, let's just add minus 10%, just like that. All right, and now as before, let's do some adjustments inside of the crop area for the middle circle and the central circle. So let's just make sure that we expand the photo to the size of the biggest circle. And let's do the same for this uh, smallest circle, just like that. And now everything is looking uh, the way it should look. And the animations are working as well. All right, and now in the selection pane, let's add a word bottom to each of the circles, because later on when we'll be animating, it will be much easier to distinguish which uh, circle is which circle. All right, and now we can go to the first slide. We can hit Control or Command A to select everything. Let's hit Copy. And now let's paste the circles from the first slide to the second slide. All right, and now we can delete the first slide. We don't need it anymore. And let's make sure that everything is perfectly aligned to the center and middle of the slide, just like that. And as you can see in the animation pane, now we have a bunch of animations. We have some center and some bottom animations. So let's just make sure that center bottom is starting with previous. All right. Let's drag the middle to the middle so that the middle bottom goes below. Now the outside and the outside bottom. And let's go to selection pane once again and let's just add a word top to these guys on top so that we know that there are three circles with photos on top and three circles with photos on the bottom. All right, it will be much easier to understand all of the animations. All right, so let's just make sure that the middle circles, both the top and bottom, have a delay of 0.2 seconds so let's just type in 0.2 seconds just to be sure and for the outside circles both top and bottom let's make sure they have 0.4 uh, delay and now as you can see we can only see the top photo so let me show you how we can make this smooth transition to the bottom photo so that we can see this beautiful green photo so all we have to do we have to add additional animation to these three circles on top so let's select them and let's add exit fade animation so let's just find exit fade animation here it is all right let's make sure it starts with previous duration 0 0.4 second and delay 0 0.4 second as well just like that So as you can see, the spin animation duration is 0 0.8 second. And after 0 0.4 seconds, which means after half of the time of spinning, the first uh, three circles will fade out and then we will see the next photo. Just like that. And this way we get this beautiful spinning fade transition to the next three circles. Super duper awesome. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and if you'd like to have more photos and if you'd like to have more slides, this is how you would have to connect these slides. So let's just go to selection pane. Let me hide some of the elements. So on this first slide, this green photo is the bottom photo. And on the second slide, this green photo has to be the top photo. So keep in mind that if you'd like to connect some of the slides, you'll have to do this switching of the places of photos. I hope that makes uh, sense. So for this purple photo, on the second slide it is the bottom photo and on the third slide it is the top photo. So yeah, <laughs> this is how it works. And I have added a couple of text boxes on top of all of the photos just to make these slides a little bit more interesting. 
All right, so let me play this uh, whole animation from the start so that we can see how it looks like on multiple photos and on multiple slides. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now you know how you can create this animated slide design with this beautiful photo spinning transition. So thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.